Hi, so another sort of a Marty video. So, um, and I'll sort of t explain the preamble to this, to why I, I sort of did this, because I watched a couple of you other YouTube videos about Amarchi. And there's some pretty strong opinions about it, isn't there? I mean, some of it's about David's politics, but I mean, it's got nothing to do with the technology, so just let that bit go. But the other part, the bit that sort of did raise my hackle slightly, is the bit where people were saying, you know, you should learn how to do this. You don't know how it works. You don't know this. And it's like gatekeeping. Um, it's sort of true in a way. I mean, you know, normally with Ubuntu or, or Fedora or something like this, it's like you're being sort of 65% spoon fed something, aren't you? you? You're installing it. You don't really need to do much. You get it to work. But when you have a setup like this, which is Hyperland and, and Arch, there's no real out of the box solution apart from this to do that. And obviously the Arch and Hyperland, or is it i3, or whatever the other hotel Windows managers are, normally is like, you know, quite elitist and you need to know how to do it and everything like that. Now what they've done with the March is just given you one of those, you know, riced setups out of the box, which has obviously, you know, raised a few eyebrows because it's like, that's, that's elitist. That's our stuff. And you don't know how to do it. And you're, you know, it's like someone giving you a Ferrari and, um, you know, you don't know how to build a Ferrari, which is use, which is pointless. Isn't it? I mean, I just watched one video, it really made me laugh, where some guy's explaining you should use it for like three or four weeks. And he's saying this monotone voice. I'm not going to knock it, but it's funny. He's like, you should use it for three or four weeks, then you should delete it, and then you should install Arch, and then you should learn how to install operating systems. Stop it. Just stop it, right? It's like, I can install OS X. I have no idea how to build an operating system, and I don't really care, and I don't want to. It doesn't make pictures. It doesn't do audio. I mean, operating systems are utilities. I mean, what they've done with the March is given us a really cool thing to play with. And it's a starting point. So <laughs> a sort of rantish ramble over there because it really made me laugh all of the videos because it was like, you know, it's like a religious experience setting up your arch distribution and, and, and writing your thing. I mean, I hope I'm not feeling any of it, but it was funny. I mean, it's just the utility, guys. It's just a bit of software, you know. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to talk about the backups and stuff like that. And I'll talk about, because you want to play with this, right? You know, you've got it. I'm sure my screen's here, but it keeps going. You want to play with it, but, you know, and you want to start to tweak it. Yeah, you know, you've been given the Ferrari. You want to learn how to maintain it. You want to learn how to how to play around with it. So I'm going to go through, you know, where you are, and then I'm going to give you a sort of um, a script, because I'm a script kiddie. No, it's not. I've written I've AI wrote it for me. I'm going to give you a script that's going to help. Um, if you want to play with a marchy, tweak what it looks like and gives you a safety net. Anyway, so that, that's my preamble out of the way. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are on a marchy. And when you boot the system up, you see this sort of, you know, after you've used it a couple, I've used it a few times, you, you see this window. I'll put it onto this screen here. You see this which is, it says Amarchi Linux snapshots, and that's like a backup for you, right? So you playing around with Amarchi, you're playing around trying to fiddle with the, we'll come to this in a minute, but we'll show you how, I should have a look at this style page and you see, see what I mean. But you'd think off the top of your head, that's like your backup. You can bring everything back. You just hit that and it restores everything. That's not strictly true. It's basically, this is backing up the systems, your programs and everything like that, but it's not backing up your configuration files as such. So if I go into, let's bring up another panel here. If I just go into Superspace and then you go into, is it Setup, Config. And in here, you've got Hyperland, Hyper, Hyperlock, Hyper Sunset, and say like Waybar. Now Waybar is the bit across the top here. Now you've seen in one of, I think David's video, he goes in there and modifies, let's bring it up. You go into here, and in, for me, it launches Kate, because I've got Kate as my text editor. So here it is, it's got all this stuff in here, and you think, oh, I'll have a play with that. And then you sort of come out of it, so let's shut that down. You relaunch it, and your way bar's missing. Now, I don't think it actually does a backup for you. I, it, it's literally in a folder. Let's close that down. And let's bring up in here, we'll go into the config folder. You've got this, and down the bottom you've got, it says if it's got it, Waybar. And there you go, you've got 
I duplicated mine, by the way, that's not in there because I was fiddling. You've got this and this. Now, if you mess this up, it's messed up. And if you don't know what you did to it, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting back to getting your way bar back. But this applies to all of it. OK, so you have these issues and you can. And I've done it. So believe me, when you're playing with a high play, if you don't understand it, I mean, you need to learn it right if you want to play. And you get there and you've got AI that can, you could copy that JSON file into an AI, tell it to add something, you know. But like I discovered, as you can see, and I'm still fiddling with it here, I've got a power off button at the top here, and it's still obscured slightly by the um, the thing. I've got to finish that off, but literally I wanted a one off power button on the top, top of the screen, so I could just remove it. So yeah, so it doesn't back up. I mean, there's loads of other bits in here, but it doesn't back up in that, you know, if I delete the Waybar folder, which I'm about to do. So if I delete Waybar, uh, how do I do it? Just delete Waybar. I'm going to delete it. Actually, no. I'll install my program before I delete the Waybar. That's, I'll give you a good demonstration. So if I delete that or damage it for some reason, I've got no way back. And you're going to have to do a lot of Googling online to figure out what you've done wrong. Or if you did what I did, I black screened the whole thing and I was left with a TTY terminal window when I booted. So I thought, OK, so I had to figure out how to bring that back. So what you really need if you want to to play and tinker with with uh, sort of Hyperland is a backup of all these files. Now, you can obviously copy the folders and duplicate them. But then if you're in a blacked out window, you've got to go through all this way of moving everything around. It's not very visual. It's not not great. So as usual with all my videos, I've written a script that will help you tinker with um, with Hyperland or well, Amarchi. It's designed specifically for Amarchi. So let's close that down. Now, I need to bring up. So I'm going to install it first of all. It's called Red Pill. And uh, just humor me. Humor me. I like the Matrix. And if you don't get the jokes in this, then you deserve to hand all your please hand back all your computer equipment because you, you don't serve it. So, OK, so if I jump into what am I going to go into? Let's bring up the file finder. Let's go into downloads and I put it in there. It's called just, just a bash script. You can, you know, if you're worried about it, just drop it into an AI and it'll tell you what it's going to do. So it's, it's got it loads of TUI, which is a terminal user interface that allows you to back up your configuration files and restore them so okay so let's hang on that was the best way to describe it. let's install it first okay so let's bring up this uh, apps i still haven't figured out how to do this i want console to be my um main app so you've got it you need to chmod plus x put that on there that will give it the right permissions to run and then you can drop that in there oh no one did i type that correctly let's get out of that i didn't press enter did i now I have, right, drop that in and it will pull down a few things, rsync, bits and bobs. And it's done. Now, so it's installed. So what you've got, if I come out of that, okay, so, <clears throat> so that's now that's installed, you just bring up the application launcher, type red pill, and there it is. So press return. And it comes a build comes up too. Now it gives you backup now, restore, list backups, and edit included lists, show path. So let's just back up. And when you hit backup, it will do this. If you take the red pill, you stay in Hyperland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So fundamentally, I've now backed up my Hyperland configuration and it's safe. So now I can play. So let's go into Alt F and I'm going to absolutely delete my, I'm going to delete my Waybar in my configs folder, which is the same as, I don't know, where is it, where is it, where is it, where's the Waybar? Waybar, Waybar. I'm going to delete it. So, you know, I've gone in here, I've done some mucking around. I've saved my file and then uh, moved to trash. Then it's, it's now obliterated. So let's come out of that. Let's go. And let's close that down. Come out of this. Let's go to setup. And then go to config. And then look at waybar. And it's gone. 
So the Waybar config's gone, let's close that down. And now I've got the generic Waybar configuration up here with whatever that all means. So that's it. So it's not got no style left. You've messed it up totally. Well, there's a power button there. It's interesting. You may have to you may have to look at this. So the power button. So how do I get it back? Now you you can obviously go back into here, hit that, and then restore your backup. Let's do that first of all. So that's the only one I've done. So let's restore it. Enter. And that's restored. So if I now go back into setup config waybar it's reloaded well it's brought my waybar ready back out but it's reloaded the waybar at the time so let's come out of that so i'm back so there you go that's really simple isn't it so you can fiddle around to your heart's content let's just take another backup red pill back up now and you've got oh so let's have a look you've got a list of backups so let's take another one Doing the little message, enter. So it's went another one. Let's do red. And now you can choose the archive. So now I've got two. So you just go there. So you can see where they're sitting and they're time stamped. So let's just go. And it's tab. It's two E, so it's tab. Okay, cancel it. Just come out of it. Tab. And you can back that up. You can go back in and red. And then you can list the backups, what you've got, edit the includes list. So now that launches into your editor. For me, it's Kate, but for you, it'll be NeoVim. And you can actually potentially add stuff to the config to include it. So you can add more to this. Let's close that. And then you've got, it says, red pill. And then you've got show pass. So it shows you where your backup is, uh, includes, and red pool so there you go so it just shows you everything is so you've got loads to play with now the reason i i built this is because i tell one i was playing with with hyperland <clears throat> i totally wiped out the front of my computer so i got back to a black screen now to get to tty which is the thing i think it's like you have to google this it's control f four or three or something gets you to log into like a, a, a march or, or um, arch headlessly and you're just left with a terminal window so how do you get your config back to do that now i'm not going to obliterate my system to do this but i'll show you how to do it through terminal so i'm gonna i'm gonna remove waybar again let's go into that let's go i don't know we want to go go into here and i'm going to delete go back in and i'm going to delete the whole waybar config where are you where are you where are you Oh man, config, config. I could not sing it. Have I deleted the whole thing? What is it? There it is. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to trash my waybar. Um, I just took it back up tonight. Yes, took it back up. Let's just delete the folder. Waybar. Let's move it to trash. Okay, let's come out of that. Let's reload it so I lose it. Set up config waybar and it's gone. So my waybar's gone and I've got all the styling has. So now I've got all that stuff at the top. So how do I get it back? Now remember, this would be black screen totally. You've got no help. You don't have a spare machine, a spare laptop. You've managed to figure out on your iPhone how to do the TTY to get back into it. And you're just confronted by terminal. So you've got this. How do you get it back? How so the choice is you just type blue pill. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Restore. So now it's just restored it. So let's come out of that and let's go and launch Waybar again. Set up config he keeps tapping those keys config waybar and there it is it's back there you go so this little scripty app thing will get you back from a black screen when you've been playing around with um your hyperland configuration obviously you know 
you've got your main backups, your snapper backups, snapshot the entire system so that, you know, you can recover from that. But, you know, I sort of understand the philosophy of people that they say you don't really understand this and if you break it. But, I mean, they've been really cool with this. They've built in, you know, you can, if you know what you're doing, you know, you can get in here, config, excuse me, and you can build your bits and bobs and do what you need to do. You know, you can change things, whatever. But if you're new to this, which was the whole contention, it's like giving giving um, 18 year old people who can barely learn to drive Ferraris. But, you know, now you've got a way back. So you just fire off that. Then you can have play. You can make all the mistakes you want to take. You've got a perfectly config file sat there. You know, like me when I was fiddling with this, because I'm, I'm not like brilliant on this. Um, I thought, what well, I want to change that. I want to put a power thing over there. And I blacked my screen so many times. I thought, sugar, you know what I mean? How do you get it back? So I thought, yeah, just, just put a script together. Let's just do this. Let's just do so I can play and modify Hyperland and not, you know, and I've got a good past time point. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So, you know, if you do watch any of the other videos about the politics of MR2, about the, it's the end of the universe for Linux and all these sorts of things. I mean, please, you know, just, just push that to one side. It's brilliant. It's really good fun. It's a very productive platform, which is what you want, and it allows me to do editing, to do work, to move from Mac, um, all those kind of things. And for developers, they've done a great job with, with making it for developers. So, I mean, you know, if you develop, I mean, I've just been taking Docker off and all that stuff. I don't know what it does. But, I mean, you can install um, all sorts of stuff on this. It's really, really nice. Steam works, yeah. So, uh, it's great. It's a really good step forward. It's focused. It's not... Um, the usual Linux type thing, which is brilliant, you know, but it's a lot of people, there's no, it's all over the shop. You know, there's only one window, one version of Windows 11, isn't there? Like, what well, the pro, ignore that functionality, there's only Windows 11. There's only OS X. In Linux world, you've got everything. And sometimes too many choices is a bad thing. Anybody in marketing will tell you that from day one, don't give them too many choices. But for us, I think if we want to use Linux, we need to be steered. And I think this is a really good, steering thing so i hope that program's useful once you've got it once you've made your first backup jump on the hyperland wiki work it out start to understand the ecosystem you don't need to leave a march but you can tweak it you know like me i'm going to put a power button up there i'm going to put something over there i do you know what i mean you can start to learn but you've got a safety net you can always come back to your um your base config and carry on working without killing it Anyway, I hope that's useful. Um, if you've got any comments, um, derogatory or otherwise, about my view on on the world of Amarchi, uh, leave them in the comments. I will respond or I won't respond. But your mileage may vary. Anyway, thanks for watching.